proponent to resit. Uh, question one. Uh, and we've got a secondary oocyte. And you should know the structure of this and just be able to name the layers. A is the uh, corona radiata. It's a bit like the corona of the sun around the outside and it radiates out. Uh, corona radiata. And these are made from uh, granulosa cells. And the layer inside Zona pellucida. So you just need to learn those. The diagram below shows a sperm cell, name structure C, and that's an acrosome, and the role that structure C plays in fertilization. So what does the acrosome contain? And this contains um, enzymes, a hydrolyticum or breaking down enzymes. Enzymes that are going to break down the barriers uh, for the secondary oocyte. So contains hydrolytic enzymes. And what are these going to do to the second mark? These are going to digest the corona radiata and the zona pellucida. So, to digest a path through the corona radiata and the zona pellucida and then we can have fertilization and the question then nicely just moves on you know here's our egg here's our gametes you know egg and sperm or secondary site and spermatozoon and then after fertilization what happens well cell cleavage is and one of the first things that happens, and that is just you know, the dividing of this zygote uh, to form new cells. So after fertilization, we get a zygote, and then this divides and divides and divides. So dividing of the zygote. You can, in the mark scheme, it says here the embryo, um, but Try and use the right term, zygote uh, cells, you know, to form new cells. So, you know, 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16 and so on. Blastocyst, so we get the zygote and then uh, we get the next stage on, it's called the blastocyst. Uh, that's where we're not just getting cells there, we're actually getting a, a hollow ball, so it's hollow on the inside and that's that's when we can call it a blastocyst so hollow ball of cells and these are you know, largely undifferentiated or slightly differentiated but um, we can say uh, un differentiated cells so they're not not specialized yet and then on with our definitions implantation well we need to say what's going to get implanted into what so if you implant something it needs to be what's implanted and what you implanted it in so embedding we're trying to use all the right the right words. You, know, we, you could say burying or implanting, but that's you know that's repeating the the question. So embedding of the blastocyst. So it's still a blastocyst into 
the and I, you can either say uterine lining or endometrium endometrium of the uterus so hopefully a pretty straightforward eight marks there